Silence on the big screen is the source of a big controversy. The new hit film Zero Dark Thirty about the hunt for Osama bin Laden is now being very publicly criticized by the head of the CIA himself. ABC's Mohammed Lima Leela is on that story. Where was the last time you saw bin Laden? It's an edge of your seat thriller that's now. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? An edge of your seat controversy. Zero Dark Thirty recreates the manhunt for Osama bin Laden. Never find him. Cramming an intense 10 year search into a thrilling two and a half hours while fans are calling it a hit. Uh, what'd you guys think of the film? Loved it. Loved it. Yeah, I thought it was really great. Yeah, yeah, it was really powerful. Critics are on the attack. In a rare public statement, acting CIA director Michael Morell accuses the film of taking significant artistic license, emphasizing it's not a realistic portrayal of the facts. I'm not your friend. I'm not going to help you. I'm going to break you. His biggest attack, the movie's harsh interrogation scenes, waterboarding and grown men stuffed into tiny coffin-like boxes, suggesting torture played a key role in finding Osama bin Laden. The CIA acknowledges that some intelligence did come from those so-called enhanced techniques, but there were many other sources as well. To portray this is our only way to get intelligence does a disservice to this country and the American people, period. For their part, the film's creators say the movie isn't a documentary and it's not supposed to be. In an interview with ABC News chief global affairs correspondent Martha Raddatz, they say that while some dialogue is exaggerated, the film is based on authentic information, right down to the inside of bin Laden's compound, gleaned from exclusive ABC News footage. It was all based on first-hand accounts, so it really felt very vivid and very vital and very immediate, which is very exciting as a filmmaker. Now, the CAA's criticism comes on the heels of similar criticism from a group of senators, including John McCain, who himself was subjected to torture as a POW in Vietnam. Now, as for the movie, it is critically acclaimed, and it's already been nominated for four Golden Globes. And often controversy is good for the box office. Absolutely.